Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js. Today we are going to learn about the type ORM and the MySQL in the Next.js. Those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So basically we are going to create the CRUD API with the help of the Next.js, type ORM and the MySQL. Okay, so here we go with this one. So let's create this one first we have the get api to get the users okay so here we have only the one user you can see that with this user let's create two more and here i'm going to create a new one post request sent and here we go with another record is added now we fetch the records within we have a two records you can see that <coughs> okay next we are going to make it like um, put request to update with the one id okay so i'm going to make it uh, with the test and make it here the email id will be this okay try to send and first record should be updated if i go and just reload you can see the first record is updated right then we have a delete make a delete request with this id let's delete this record user deleted and here you can see it is deleted okay if you want to get by id then also we can use with get by id i think it is deleted right make it like this okay this is also fetched so this is a full fledged crud rest api with the help of the mysql and the type orm let's dive into the code level okay so here we go with this one so this is the api endpoint api users this is by the ID and this is get and the post API here. Okay. And this is connect.ts file. First we go with the connect.ts file. <coughs> okay. So here we have the import, the connections from the type ORM. And here we have a connection with the database. These details you need to pass for the MySQL that is type, host, port, username, password, database, entity, logging and synchronize because synchronize will create the tables into your database and then console.log that type or i'm connected if something goes wrong that it will grow go over here that the connection not established second we have to go with entities and create the user entities with the name and the email okay after this we have to go with the so api users route.ts so here we have created the two routes that is the get api and the second one is the no, this is that one. First one is get API. Okay, this is the get API and another one is post API. Let's understand this. So here we are using importing the user entity and here we are doing the connections. Okay, so connect database. So here we are using get connection connect database from the DB connect. Okay, so first we do the connection if it is not established. Okay, then we are using the repository to find the users list from the use users table if something goes wrong it will go to the error fetching the data okay second we have to create the post request okay so first we check the connection again then we are accepting the json with the name and the email then create that user with the repository and save that one and return the saved user if something goes wrong then it will go to the error creating the user okay so this is the get apis and the post then we have the get by id so first one is the get by id so here we are doing the find by one with the params id so make sure this is that one okay request params and the params id so here i need the params id to check whether the user exists or not it will if it is not exist then it will show that the user not found the status 404 if found then it will return the user else it will show that the error message right then we have the delete one request okay then we are <coughs> doing the again we are finding the with the params id it is if it is not found then user not found else dot delete params dot id user deleted successfully else in the catch block it will say that the there is something went wrong with that id right then the last one that is update we have already done that one right so here we are taking the params dot id okay first we find out by id if it is not found then the user not found with the status 404 if it is found 
then we are updating the name with the email whatever the parameter we have passed from the JSON okay <clears throat> so up users to update so we get the name and the email okay from the this one name and the email from the await request sure JSON okay and then we are returning that updated response <clears throat> if something goes wrong that it will go with the error updating the users okay so this is <clears throat> the structure and here you can see that the API users <coughs> routes in the ID we have the route.ts okay we have explained this one then in DB connect.ts entity user.ts after this you are successfully able to create the rest APIs with the help of the MySQL and the type ORM any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day